Hi guys, it's Elite Squad X here and welcome to your 7th Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be covering a recent effect that I put up in one of my videos of the test video which is going to be coming on your screen about now. Now uh, this test video actually was made using a simple effect in Premiere Pro. Now, I'm going to teach you how to use this effect, it's very simple, but I do have to say, if you want something that's more professional, I would recommend going to After Effects. Now, I'm not too great with After Effects, I'm a Premiere Pro user, so I use that most of the time, that's why I'm giving you this simple effect. But if you want something that's more professional, I uh, recommend looking up uh, a camera shake tutorial in After Effects, and then you can, there's lots of them out there, so you just look up one of those, and then you can use that. So I'm using a clip from one of my friends, his name's Wilma or Charlie, he has a new channel uh, called Wilma, uh, his old channel is X-Ray, so if you guys know him I'll say go to subscribe to him, he's a great friend of mine and he's provided this awesome clip for us of a 360 one way, 360 the other way collateral, I'm just going to quickly play it here, just going to reduce the volume though because it is a bit loud, alright let's take it from the top. So 360 one way, 360 the other way, collateral. Now, if you ask me, I think that's brilliant. That's COD 4. I haven't seen one of those in a while, so I think that's really nice. So thank you, Charlie, for that clip. Go subscribe to him. His uh, link, his channel's going to be in the description. Okay, so let's get into the effect. Now, for starters, I have to say that you need to slow down the clip at some stage. So I'm going to teaching you how to do that, and also you're going to be splitting the clip apart, which also is quite simple using this razor tool here. So first off, you need to decide where you want the camera shake to start. So for me, it's going to be where Charlie obviously gets this collateral. So we're going to go through frame by frame, find where he gets this collateral here. So the shot is taken there by the muzzle flare, as you can see. But then two frames on, he gets the plus 20, one of them being a headshot, as you can see here. So you got Wilma and then headshot. Okay, so we're probably going to want it to start at the muzzle flare here. So the muzzle flare, we're going to take this razor here and we're going to cut it right there. So now you can see we have two parts to the clip. So now you're going to want to skip along this clip where you want the camera shake to end. So I'm going to probably do it after he's done the bolt action and moved on a little bit. So this is where I'm going to split it. About there. Okay, so now what you want to do now is take your middle clip this is, we're going to be slowing it down now because otherwise your camera shake is a bit quick and it's not it's all over the place. Um, so right click, speed and duration and as you can see it's 100% here so we're going to take it down to about 40. See what that looks like. Okay hang on, problem is we need to move this clip so that it can extend to 40. Right click, speed and duration 40. Just remember your clip will extend Hang on, I'm not sure if that's still giving it enough room. Third time's lucky, come on. 40. Okay. There we are. Right, so now the middle part is slowed down to 40. I'm just going to move that there for a second. So as you can see, the speed goes down a lot more if we play it here. There we are. And then it comes back into the normal clip. So. Now we're going to start the camera effect. So what you want to do is go back to your second clip, go to the beginning of it, and then we're going to scale in on this little effect control here, and we're going to open up the motion effect here. Now we're going to highlight the toggle animation of position, and then we're going to begin our camera effect. But also what you need to do before that, which I forgot to mention, which I'm going to mention now, is you need to scale your video. Now the reason for this is because once you start moving the video around to create the simple camera effect, you might actually reveal some black which will look pretty awkward. So what you do, take the bottom right, the left or whatever corner you want, just scale it up here. There we are. And then, and then that's the scale. So we go back onto the video, it's scaled up. We highlight position again. And then we go from couple of frames to frames we move the image so at the moment it's staying in the same place go about three frames or however many frames you want so I'm gonna go three frames take the video and move it ever so slightly or not ever so slightly depending on what you want 
to achieve. So we're doing it every couple of three, two frames. Want to get some variation in there because otherwise the camera effect will, you know, look a bit silly. As you can see here, this might take some time. So I'm probably going to do some time lapse here, guys. Just you know, get all this done. But this is basically the simple procedure of how you follow it. Just make sure you don't get the black in, and uh, I will see you when I finish this. Okay, as you can see here, we're coming to the end. Um, now, once you've finished doing all, as you can see, I've got all the keyframes here. Once you've finished adding in your keyframes, what you want to do is roughly get your clip centerized. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just roughly center because otherwise I'm gonna look a little bit off. So that's about center, I think, about there. Can't really tell. As you see, all the keyframes are finished there. So now, what you wanna happen is, is it's gonna scale back down to the normal size video of your next clip. That's why we split it here. So we're gonna drag this to here. And as you can see, it changes out as you can see a little change from this frame see so now if we play this through this should be the simple effect done so I'm just going to see what it looks like here so as you can see there that was a simple camera effect I mean you can obviously change it so you would want to make it a smoother one or or make it so it's a little bit less longer or short or whatever but that's basically the simple gist of the uh, camera effect so thanks for watching guys i've been elite squad x and this has been the simple camera shake tutorial in adobe premiere pro thanks for watching guys please be sure to thumbs up comment subscribe and also be sure to head over to wilmer's Char um, charlie's channel for all his clips because he's a really good um, cop player and i will see you later and I just don't care.